learning in progress. All right, welcome to the Straight Red Card. Today um, with us, we are lucky enough to have someone who is part of the, the Hoppy family. And if you're part of the Hoppy family, well, you got a lot of good things going for you right now, especially if, uh, you know, you're related to Matthew Hoppy of the United States men's national team. Um, we got a big game coming up uh, versus Jamaica. So we thought we'd bring in Jim. And Jim, you are Matthew's uncle, correct? That's correct. And I wish we could use the video because you're wearing the baddest ass Mallorca, Mallorca uniform or kit I've ever seen. <laughs> Where did you get that? Did you buy that yourself or Matthew mail you one? <laughs> no, Matthew doesn't mail me anything. So I, I ordered it. <laughs> I figured, I know. Just yeah. kidding. Um, but, you know, one thing we should start with, because, you know, we've we've talked a little before this, and that is that Matthew comes from, like, this super soccer family. Uh, you and your, and your brother were both big soccer guys back when I was a big soccer guy, when we were young. Give us some background about his, the, the sort of soccer family craziness that you guys have going on there. Yeah, we um, we played in AYSO when we were kids from like age eight on up. And, uh, you know, I'm three years older than Matthew's dad. Mm. So uh, also my brother, Tom, who's Matthew's dad, is two years older than my youngest brother, John. So it would always be like a two on one situation. <laughs> and I played as hard as I could against my two brothers, you know, but yeah. they were actually getting better playing someone at my age level. So so my brother Tom just took that and ran with it and became a soccer stud, went to high school, played varsity high school soccer and dominated and then got a soccer scholarship to Azusa Pacific and the rest is history. So what you're saying is Matthew has some good genes. Yeah, he, he uh, his dad really was awesome. How and, early? Uh, go, I was going to ask, how early did he get him started playing soccer? Oh, he was uh he got into base little league and soccer so he was um probably about six years old i'd say when he okay. started playing organized soccer and same, was age, I, same age i just started my son on <laughs> yeah it's a good age not too I, far behind there i started at five so. i started at four yeah four jesus wow. okay. i play i played on my older brother's team too it was all wreck but yeah. four-year-old playing on u6 or u7 or well, whatever that was at the time that's the thing, though, for all of us who are basically in the same age group, Jim. Yeah. Like soccer was just a different place. And give us an idea. You can, we can, we we can provide this info too. But for you, where you were, we all had to play rec, right? We there was no big, huge. I mean, AYSO was kind of it. That was it, yeah. right? Yeah, that was it. I mean, you just yeah. didn't didn't have anything. So you didn't play any high school ball. No, I played water polo in high school. So. Oh. We have a friend you would love talking <laughs> water polo with. Um, and uh, cause, all right. So let's, let's get to this. This is like, so Matthew starts out, he's six years old and how does he progress possibly get it? How does he make it to the galaxy? How does he make it to the team? Well, all I can tell you is I went to one of his soccer games. He was probably maybe seven or eight years old. And uh, it was amazing just watching him, he, he scored probably about six or eight goals in that game. Yeah. And I just looked at my brother, Tom, and I said, he's going to be awesome. And, the, you know, the rest is history. You can tell. Yeah. I mean, he mm -hmm. has that game face all the time. <laughs> he does. He does have that game face. It's really distinctive. And it's kind of what makes him stand out. It, it has, it's a very much a Dempsey effect there. Yep. And I yeah. often I often wonder. It's the, you know, it's, it's the swagger. It's the not necessarily it can be cockiness, but it's more swagger than anything. No, he, I don't think he's cocky. He's sure. not cocky. I'm just it's saying just, that that was very much the Dempsey portrayal. You know, he's he had the swagger and cockiness. Like I'm going to get this ball and I'm going to do this. You can't stop me, type of mentality. But yeah. then again, he was a nice guy too. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Matthew's a he's a great kid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, there there's nothing you know mean about him at all he loves people so yeah but he does when he hit once he hits hits the pitch it seems like he flicks a switch you know what i mean <laughs> there's the uh god that there's the play in that uh the mexico game in the gold cup final where uh a foul was called and he just you know just back heeled the ball away from the mexican player and just stared at him the entire time and i was like oh it's dempsey it's purely dempsey right there 
<laughs> it was it was a great play to watch. I enjoyed it thoroughly. <laughs> yeah, we we love watching them too. I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah. So how does that? How does that? I've never you know had a relative or a brother or anything that made it that far in professional sports. I mean, is that kind of? Uh, something the whole family sort of rallies around you guys talk during the games are you going back and forth on texts or uh yeah we we talk to each other and or text each other like my brother john my youngest brother he, we we call each other while the game's going on and talk for a little bit or text and uh usually my brother tom's over at the game with his wife so <laughs> yeah so does does tom does does let me ask you this. Does Matthew ever call his dad and go, hey, you know, what could I have done different? I mean, does he like still sort of respect the fact that his dad grew up playing the sport? Maybe not at that level, but he still knows his stuff. I don't know about that. It's just he totally respects my brother. So it's it's total respect. I'm asking you sort of, you know, make a guess here. But I mean, how early on was it that that Matthew thought, you know, I'm going to play for the i'm going to go to Schalke and i'm going to play for the u.s men's national team i mean is that something he's always believed in yeah i don't know about that part it's uh it kind of came up that he was uh you know trying out for a german soccer team about a year a year and a half ago or something like that yeah um but he was committed to go to san diego state play soccer there i think he made the right choice yeah <laughs> a little bit yeah <laughs> <laughs> because I mean, you don't just go try out for a German soccer team in Schalke, for that matter. That's a huge team, mm -hmm. and I don't know what you know about how that came about. But I mean, how did Schalke found find a guy who was apparently uh, too small and too short for the LA Galaxy, so they let him go, <laughs> right? But how does Schalke find him? Do you know any anything about that? You know, it, honestly, I don't know about that part. No. Yeah, it's it's that's that's a journey. Um, that it takes a lot of guts to take at that age. Yeah. So, I mean, there's something that's been instilled in him, obviously, that has allowed him, um, you know, to, to kind of have the guts to go over. I mean, I couldn't have done that at 18, I don't think. Um, so you, when we were talking about the LA Galaxy and while he was there, you, met, you mentioned he went through like this massive growth spurt too. I think that would have yeah, we. I think all of us hoppies were short when we were fourteen years old. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, he's six three. Yeah, now he is. But you know, uh, my brother's six one. I'm six feet. But when we were freshmen in high school, we were like five foot one. All of us. Mm -hmm. God, so. me too. Yeah, I was like really short, and then bam, I grew like eight inches one summer, mm -hmm. and when I was sixteen. But. The, the great news about that is nobody's had a chance to convert him into a center back because he had such a low, a late, <laughs> late growth rate. You know how that is. The tall kids always get stuck at center back. Yeah. It's uh, I mean, Matthew played midfield though, most of his hmm. playing time. So well, and you, you can see in the, you could see that actually in the, uh, in the gold cup, uh, yeah. every time he had a check back to get that ball on, he had controlled and com uh, composed with it right there in the midfield under pressure. Um, and of course we all, we all know him from being a striker because that's the limited uh, limited viewing time that we've had of him. But I mean, you could, you could absolutely see the, the midfield uh, experience there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's very versatile. He mm -hmm. can play midfield, right? Obviously now left wing, I think it was, he played in gold cup mm -hmm. and obviously striker. So, so we're, I mean, again, we're all just making predictions here. Where do we see, um, Matthew playing in this cycle of the window. If you had to guess, obviously we're not. None of yeah, us know. What's I, I don't even. Game. I know more than you know about this. Uh, <laughs> we're all in the guessing game here. But with Pepe coming in, yeah. I would say Pepe's the striker. Yeah, um, Matthew's going to be a winger. It looks like. Yeah, That's I think uh, I think Berhalter base said it without saying it in the press conference after the roster was announced, and he talked about how he likes the versatility of uh, Hoppy and that. He really sees uh, the strengths of him being able to cut into the in, inside and create opportunities. And he's got that hunger where he's looking to take that shot on goal. So the ability of cutting into his right and then ripping a shot uh, and also making those runs behind the back line. So, I mean, it, it, it sounded like he was spelling out that he's going to be playing out wide. Yeah, it is. But again, he still could play the center forward position mm -hmm. if that gets hurt or, you know, something like that. Or, 
God forbid we actually go to a two striker formation. That's unheard of. <laughs> That'd be nice. <laughs> yeah. I'd love I to see that combo. Yeah. Yeah. So would I. And I think it's really an, an interesting time for the U S striker pool in general. I think there's, it's wide open, really. I mean, there's a lot of opportunities. We've seen DK in and out. We've seen PFOC in and out. Uh, it's good to see Matthew in. But Matthew's got the extra advantage of being able to play winger. And, you mm-hmm. know, some of those guys do not. Um, I, I guess the other question is, um, he is he's, his playing style, where, where does that come from? Because that... Is something you just don't see a lot. It's, he's he's different from Pulisic in so many ways. He's different from Reyna. He's he's got his own aggressive style. Where does that come from? I think it's just from his brother or my brother and the way we played and it just passed on to Matthew. Mm. I think it's hereditary. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, when I see him play, it's uh, it reminds me of how my brothers and I used to play. It's just it's like a spitting image. Yeah, balls out. I mean, for a lack of a better phrase. <laughs> um, so let's just uh, maybe we'll do a little game prediction here. The score for the next game, Jim. You willing to pitch in on that, or are you? Sure. Yeah, I'll All do right. that. All right. Um, I, what did you have it, Brett? Two one. I can't remember. How did we actually predict it in that that segment? I don't even recall. I, I, I was gonna. Either. I was gonna. I was gonna go with the two zero. Just two oh, that's what I was thinking. But I'm I'm going two oh as well. You know, before I answer this, mm-hmm. I was wondering, is it the same type of players and same exact team that's going to be playing in this game versus what was in the Cold Cup? Oh, or Jamaica. There, yeah, where there's some oh. changes now because of the English Premier League. So they're league. still going to be missing Leon Bailey, and they're still going to be missing Morrison. Those are two big pieces for them. Yeah. So they are still bringing a lot of USL guys, um, but we've got guys from the lower leagues of England. Uh, Liam mm-hmm. Moore, Ethan uh, Pinnock, I think, plays for Brentford. Um, of course, they got Andrew Blake, <laughs> one of the best goalkeepers in MLS. Yep. So there's that to contend with. But I think we're going to see a lot of MLS guys and lower league guys. And I'm not sure what's going on with their federation, but, um, well, we kind of know. It's a mess. They're not paying the players enough. So Yeah. Well, I'm going to say it's uh, two, two to one. And do you West. think we're... <laughs> of course. You think, you think we're going to see Matthew on, on that first game? I mean, if you had yeah. to make... You're just making predictions here. So. I, I'm going to predict Matthew gets both goals. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, nice brace. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, so... This is the this is an interesting thing. Has these are some not deep questions, but has uh, Matthew learned to sp- did he learn to speak German while he was in Germany? I know he was trying to learn German. Uh, he's also you know we're from Southern California and we have you know Spanish names all over the place and streets and yeah you know it, it, but he's uh, trying to learn Spanish now too. So yeah. And so the other thing is the Hoppy name. And I always suspected it was German. You can confirm that that is a German name. That is a German name, yes. All right. I'm half German, so I was like hearing that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's where some of the fire comes from, you know. Uh, even if you're several generations, that, that thing carries through generations, that sort of German focus. Yeah. 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 What, uh, the Germ- I, I've been to Germany a couple of times myself, and they say it differently over there. They uh, they say Hoppa. Oh, hmm. so we say Hoppy. Yeah, you can't go back to that now. It's too late. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like so the much list- of the. Yep, you beat me to it. I was gonna say implicit, yeah. implicit. So. Yeah. yeah, and so, but I was thinking that too. The first time um, I started tracking Matthew about a year and a half ago, because I did the Yank Report for a while. Um, still do it. Track every all three hundred plus Americans overseas. And I saw that name, and Brett and I were starting to talk of oh, this kid's getting some time at Schalke. How in the hell are we going to pronounce this name? <laughs> I'm not sure. Is it Hoppa? Hop? Hop? Hoppy? We weren't sure, but we found Long out. Long ago, it's Hope. Hope. <laughs> yeah, Hope with the extra P. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, uh, yeah, we've been used to it our whole lives. Everyone just hacks our name up. So we're used yeah. to it. Jim, I think um, 
you know, it was great having you on. Um, I wish we could get deeper and darker and all those things, but we got to keep you and the whole family safe. And we need Matthew to be safe going forward. And we want him to be playing lots of ball. Um, I just want to thank you for coming on and just giving us some, you know, kind of a broad insight into how this all evolved for Matthew and how he got to where he was. Um, is there anything else you, you wanted to tell us before we let you go? No, I just hope the U.S. does well and they get all three games that and they do great this October window. Yes, you know? yeah, absolutely. Yeah, let's. Uh, we're all hoping for that. There's no, uh, there's nothing negative to say um, about you know anybody. It's all yes, positive. We, all need great. To go in. we need nine points. Mm-hmm. Seven's acceptable. Would could you live with seven, Jim? No. <laughs> <laughs> They have to win all three. Nice. I like yeah. it. I like it. All yeah, looking right. At this roster, they got to win all three. Even with Rain and Pulisic missing. Yeah. Even yeah. with the even with players missing, you know, Brooks is out. Right. I mean, we're we're missing a couple key players, but we have a deep enough squad that we, even the players we brought in, you know, are going to make when, a difference. So, when the hell did Brooks go out? Just recently, yeah. he's got back. He's got a back spasm issue. Oh, that's probably and, uh, is so, there a replacement uh, for him yet? Not yet. We're sitting on we're sitting on 25 or 25, 26, 26. players. Because I thought uh I thought I read somewhere that Ariel got injured this weekend, but mm-hmm. I saw him in Austin in a training uh on, on just a photo. So sounds like it wasn't a serious injury, maybe it was just a simple knock. But um but yeah, if, so so sitting on 26 currently. Yeah. If if Miazga doesn't make this team now, <laughs> there's something going on there. <laughs> <laughs> it leads it leads a lot to believe that maybe the dog kicking theory has uh come true. I don't know if you've heard of I that, Jim. I don't think Snuffles <laughs> has forgiven him yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a running thing that it was a, a joke we made that he wasn't calling up Miazga all these other times either because he kind of like uh accidentally kicked um Burhalter's dog. It's just a running joke that people <laughs> it's just taken and run with. It's, I don't it's know taken why. off. I mean, obviously now the big thing is just a bunch of memes of people punting dogs for movies and stuff like that. And then there was even one time where they're like, yeah, remember that Miyazaki is not being included because he killed Burhalter's dog. I'm like, whoa, wait a second. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. We never there's no that. killing. He just, he just lightly kicked him, you know? By the way, before we let you go, Jim, you do yeah. look a lot like Matthew. It's, it's I just grew this goatee just recently. So I know, but yeah. man, I can tell, <laughs> I can tell <laughs> there's no doubt about it. You're a hoppy. All right. Hey, Jim, thanks for coming on. Maybe we'll have you on um, in better times so we can just talk positivity and talk results. Yeah. And uh, it was just really nice getting to meet you. We wish you and Matthew and the whole family the very best. Thanks. Thank you. All right. Take care. Go USA. Go USA. Yeah. Go USA. Thanks, guys. Take care. Bye. Thanks, Jim. Take care. All right. Bye.